everybody, and welcome to the 2022 Watkins Glen Waterfront Festival and Cardboard Boat Regatta. Hi, I'm Crispy Bacon, along with my buddy Radar. How you doing, Bacon? Doing well, buddy. And this is the 27th time cardboard boaters have challenged the waters of Seneca Lake. 27 years. Who would have thought it? Yeah, that's that's crazy, right? It All is right. crazy. Cold temperatures, but it's time to get these boats in the water. And here we go. It is time to get our first heat underway. Boats are the HMS Argo and the SS Meep Meep. Meep Sounds meep. like a minion. Yeah, minion. Meep Meep Meep. meep. <laughs> or Roadrunner. Meep. We all watch Saturday morning cartoons. Absolutely. So this is going to be the first heat of the day. I can tell you that uh, we're a little low on boats this year, but you know, not low on excitement and thrills. Absolutely not. And in fact, you know, this, this, this HMS uh, Argo, they, they said that their boat may as well be called the Titanic 2.0. <laughs> it's uh, officially known as the H uh, HMS Argo, but we're just, we're just gonna call it the Titanic 2.0. All right, all right. So, so how are we feeling about the, the uh, flow or sink ratio? Uh, oh, at least five minutes. At, at least, least five, five minutes. Yeah. All right, I'll be we're, timing you on that, We're proud okay? about that. Uh, they think that it's only gonna last about five seconds in the water, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Captain um, Cole Swanson of the Argo, I apologize. That's all right. It's cold out here. Yeah, it is cold. It's chilly. A little bit of white caps on the on the in the water. And, and here we go. The HMS, the Argo, along with SS Meep. SS Meep, easy to tell. You're sitting at home going, hey, which one's the SS Meep? Carrying the stars and stripes. Stars. Course. Yep. And one thing. Radar, I think with the wind, it's going to cause some havoc as far as the boats, maybe not out of the chute, as we like to call it, but down the backstretch along the rock wall, I have a feeling that headwind, that wind is going to be battling them pretty tight. I, I agree. And even, I mean, even on this front stretch that they're in, there's, there's quite a bit of headwind already that, that you can see the SSB um, struggling with a little bit. Ten-year-old Captain Colton, his, this is his first year participating. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, just to win and beat all of the people, I guess. Yeah, that's awesome. What did you model your boat off of this year? What Kid, was it, how'd you get the idea? Kid Rock's boat. Uh, boats are starting to either go visit friends in the slips <laughs> on either side. It's true. Or the wind is just blowing them. You can see that, that person's hair. Look at the wind blowing the hair. I mean, it's, it's nasty out there to be trying to be a captor of these uh, cardboard boats. Of course, we can't do it without uh, our help from the Sheriff's Department. They're out there in case we do have any incidences in the water where water rescues may have to come into play. SS Meat, by the way, did lose their American flag, but they are continuing on. Yeah, hey, nothing is stopping them. He's he's just plugging right away. Uh, just, just, yep. Lost but look it. at the water. I mean, even we're now here we are on the back stretch along that rock wall, and look how they looks like they're standing still. Look how rough the water is battling the uh, the meep. Yeah, they are really struggling to to get anywhere on that back stretch. I I think uh, you know I would have given up and just uh, found a pedal bike. <laughs> you know, like a pedal service because this. I mean, look how rough, folks. Look how rough. The water is here and i think 10 years ago or something like that we had conditions about this very day. similar to this i remember that i showed up in shorts and a t-shirt and ended up having to buy a sweatshirt and long pants and i was looking for gloves just like i was today here we go getting ready to uh hit the finish line for the ss meep you can see the checkered flags right there the banners ss meep crossing the finish line. Very nice. And Captain Colton Okonski, I hope I'm saying his last name right, has uh, made it across the, the finish line. I like this shot. So the Elm Chevy uh, splash cam. Uh, the splash cam, yes. Elm yes. Chevy ca splash cam is uh, having a hard the, time making it way. And they do they've... cross the finish line and, for the SS. Uh, HMS, uh, the Argo. And they were afraid that they weren't even going to make it for five seconds. So nice construction there on the HMS Argo. Off to heat number two. Getting ready for heat number two. We have Tuggy. What are you most excited about for today? Um, I'm being in 
the boat with my best friend. Being in the boat with your best friend, that's so exciting. And and how do you, do you think you're gonna float or do you think you're gonna sink? Float. Float. We love that. And root beer float, Captain Brian Lee. So root beer float was best, was voted best crash in 2010. Best oh, no. crash. Best crash. Oh, you know, uh, on a cold day like today, you probably don't want on ice cold no, root beer was, float. No, it's definitely too cold for kind of going into the drink. We don't want to have that happen. And they're off, as you can see, with the wind and a little bit of uh, coordination trying to get it done. Of course, paddle right, paddle left, paddle left, paddle right. The idea is to keep the boats going straight, but even with the wind, again, I think these guys are going to continue to have some problems with the wind as the day goes on. A little tidbit here, root beer float is the, the one, of, one of the uh, operators of that boat is the father to the captain of Tuggy, Miss Adeline. Oh, yeah. so a little cross competition. A little cross competition, and they're actually kind of... Um, I was almost going to say, sorry. like a cooperation. <laughs> Cooperative. They're cooperating because they both parental and they're cooperation. Yes, absolutely. This is my, I think, third or fourth year. Yeah. So we were partners in 2019 and we made it as far as the ramp and then our <laughs> boat got a hole in it. Oh, but no. we swam and had fun and yeah. it was a good time. So we're back with our kids and everybody has a boat and we'll have a good day. And struggling along. Tuggy is struggling along. So, so Dad and the root beer float is uh, actually hanging out in the first turn here with me, uh, just Thanks. waiting for Tuggy to make her way into this first turn and get onto the back stretch. Again, where that co-opetition comes from, they're waiting on each other, which is they very are. cool. It's very nice to see this uh, co-opetition, as you say. <laughs> Remember, it's all fun and games. Even if you take on some water, even if you roll, the whole idea is fun and games on the 27th time that these cardboard boats have challenged the waters of Seneca Lake. In the meantime, is still on the next... More of the 2022 Watkins Glen Cardboard Boat Regatta coming up right after this. All right, now here comes a fun one. Pink Flash. Another dad and daughter duo. How are you feeling about this weather? cold. It is cold. Are you nervous about going down in the water? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Have you done the regatta in years before? No, this is our first year. This is your first year? What are you most excited about? Um, just having fun with my dad for Father's Day. And then, of course, pending claim. And you look at the design of the boat, the theming, it kind of looks like a, a house or something they built with kind of wood hanging out. Like, you know they need to go see an insurance agent. Yes, they, the they definitely claim. need insurance. Oh, no! Oh, no! no! So cold. And Dad had his like right there. Dad's sure helping he got... her out. Okay. Oh. All right. So Pink Flash. In the flash. meantime, yep. P pending claim is taken off towards that first turn, while uh, while we wait for Pink Flash to figure out what they're gonna do. Dad, Dad is hanging out, out in the water. Dad figured it out. I, I I remember. Just just push her, push her, push her. And uh, as cold as that water has to be, it's. But to be out there and swim or kicks you know yeah power and he's he's just in shorts I mean, yeah. he doesn't have a, a wetsuit or anything on so that is that is cold but that's one dedicated dad right there and we got two other boats sitting there still um of course Tuggy we have and uh Tuggy and root beer float are still on the back stretch and and pending claim is going to be passing tuggy within just a, a couple of minutes here We love our Elm Chevy splash cams that are mounted on the front end of all these boats. Give you a nice uh, POV point POV. of view. Right, yes. Really nice POVs. Absolutely. And uh, here comes uh, pending claim. the claim, pending claim. I still, I like it. They, they build like uh, wood planks and yeah. stuff on the front, like it's a little dilapidated. We're representing Perry and Carroll Insurance Company, so we thought that was a very fitting. It, it is. I love that. I love that. How, how many man hours did you put into your boat? Oh my gosh. Uh, we tried to add it up, but 
there was up to five, six, eight of us working some, some nights, and I'd say probably 200. Wow. All right. Is Dad still swimming with Pink Flash? Yes, yeah, you can see him in the water. still in the water right in that first turn, trying to make it to the back stretch. In the meantime, uh, Root Beer Flo and Tuggy are still midway down that back stretch, and Penning Claim has passed them. I think it's great, though. The captain of the boat. Oh, they're about to the roll again. Oh, no! Okay, Dad upright. Dad saved it. But the fact that they're still trying to steer, you know, she's still steering the boat with yep. the oars. She's giving a good, honest try, and, and Dad's helping her out. And I give I give Dad a Father of the Year award, to, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that water has got to be freezing. And pending claim, make it away almost down to the uh, final turn before heading down to those checkered flags for the finish. Want to thank again Elm Chevrolet. This splash cam is so incredible. And it's great to see everybody turning out after a couple of year hiatus because of COVID. But look at the rock wall. Look at the fans who have showed up back there to watch this waterfront festival and cardboard boat regatta for 2022. All right, getting set for our next one. Here is Nostalgia. I understand this is going to be a fast boat. That's what I've been told. Nostalgia, and right next to them, Miller Time. Miller Time. Powered right. by Miller. You know, oh, like, but that guy's not he's drinking not Miller. He's not done. No. <laughs> but I like it. He had to wait to the very last drop. You know, that before he finished. Right. He got, he so these guys, I understand, are going to be fast. they got uh, some experience behind them. They've got some coordination. Look how they're... Yeah. They're working the oars Nostal from our aerial shot. I want to thank uh, Hesselson's for the uh, sky cam. Uh, fun of course, he's poking the corners at Hesselson's, and it's probably warmer in the corners at Hesselson's. It than probably out is. there in one of those slips on the boat. I, I agree. They are these two boats are neck and neck on this in this first uh, in the front stretch. Miller Time has taken the lead over Nostalgia. Uh, Doug, the, the the captain of Nostalgia. Actually, uh, said he says he won in 2019. Can you believe that? He I gives, can he with how himself, fast this boat is. I know, and he gives himself about a 95% chance of winning this year again. Doug, how many years have you been doing the cardboard? 20 boat years. Product? 20 yep. years. Yep. Wow. So in all those 20 years, do you have a favorite memory? Uh, well, we won the last one that they had, so we're the reigning champs Woo! from 2019. That's awesome. Yeah, we're actually racing. We split it, we fractioned off into two groups. So this is a group of four, and they got one of the other members in the other boat. Miller Light has into already this made, first turn, so. made the first turn onto the back stretch. Right on the back stretch. And yep. uh, it's only when they get to the end of the back stretch, which is by the pier. They'll make one more left, and that takes us down the start finish line. Miller Time has taken over Pink Flash in the meantime, and Nostalgia has made it to the back stretch finally. I mean, we still got Fruit Beer Float and Tuggy hanging in there. Again, they're battling when they come across, when, when they were coming at you, they're still battling that headwind. Right. And if you watch the waves, they're actually moving um, right here. If you look, they're, they're moving away from you. They're moving from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. So they're moving away. So they're battling that as they're coming at you. And of course, Miller Time, they got it made. Look at that. So on Miller Time, Mike, Mike married into the C into CBBR as his father-in-law was a longtime uh, participant. Nice. So this cardboard boat race, this he married into the family. Well, that's still only uh, again it's, more it's cooperation. More cooperation. More cooperation. Absolutely. I'm stealing that line, by the way. Pending claim is uh, is making their way past or over the uh, finish line. They have made it, and they are followed very closely behind. By Miller, Miller time. time. Nice job. Now that they're done? Yep, Miller I bet Time. Miller. There you go. He's just jumping time. right in. I was going to say, yeah, it's Miller Time. He's just going to go ahead and just jump in the water. I don't care how cold it is. I'm jumping oh, in. There goes another, there one. another one. Getting ready to go. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> here comes Nostalgia getting ready to cross the uh, finish line as well. And we I, also have uh, Root Beer Flow and Tuggy coming up behind Nostalgia. It looks like they're going to try to do a tag team and maybe make it over the finish line together, possibly. <laughs> We're getting there. They're still see, even the water, they're not paddling anymore. Maybe they're tired. They're just going to let the uh, momentum carry them they across. The but waves you still got to work across. it. No, 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 no,
getting a lot of encouragement from Dad in the in the boat. Oh, we have a slight problem back there. And there's oh, Pink Flash still is, on the it, back stretch. Is Dad still kicking? Dad is still kicking Dad's in the water. Dad's still kicking. What a great Good idea for Dad. for Dad to just jump in. How about that finish. on this Father's Day weekend? Doesn't matter how you start, where you finish. Father's Day weekend, you know, you couldn't ask for a better team from, of a father-daughter team. More coverage from the Cardboard Boat Regana coming up here on Big Fox. All right, coming up uh, next well, is going to be Seabroga and Liquidy Ship. Liquidy Ship. ship. With a P. Not yes. Yes, liquidy Not that ship. Other word. No, I've been doing this personally since about 2007. I started captaining in 2008, and we've had a range of these people coming and going over the years, but we've been doing it pretty much every year. That's awesome. How are you feeling about this year with the weather? Uh, it's a little chilly. Uh, it's not as bad as in 08 when it was downpouring, but, you know, I'll be used to it. What are you most looking forward to about the regatta? Uh, just having a good time with my friends and getting out on the, on the water. All right, guys. Sea Broga actually was supposed to be the terror of the sea is what it basically translates yes. to. And and Sea Broga has they're longtime participants in this cardboard boat regatta. Five gallons of glue alone just to put this thing together. Four hundred work hours. Hot glue, duct tape, and paint. That's all we Remember, can use. and if you want to be in the boat regatta for next year. You bend, you don't cut yes, your cardboard. Yes, don't cut and then glue. You just you bend, fold, and glue the folds. Oh, look at this. Oh, guy, guy trying There's... to give us a 3D view. He's trying to lead right up to the camera. That's Matt there that was that was just leading, giving us that lovely view. And he said it took five days to build, and it holds 20 people. Wow. 20 people, five days. And they are right here in the first turn now, this liquidy ship, making their way to the back stretch, and they're getting plenty of encouragement from the sidelines. And you can still see, it actually looks like the water, the direction of the water, well, Actually coming out of that, the water direction is still moving from your right to your left. If you look at the screen, right to left, you can see the waves that they're battling from the wind. So they're coming at you. They're making, making some pretty good time liquidy ship there with Captain Matt Miller. He's screaming at them at the, at the helm. <laughs> and here comes the terror of the sea, Sea Broga. Sea um, Broga. What, is, what, does, Broga. Yep. what does that mean? Terror of the sea. Ooh. In, in old Norse. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, all right. And so, so how are you guys feeling about your uh, sink or float factor? How oh, are you? definitely oh. float. Oh, we float. We float. Hundred percent oh, float. 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 float, float, float. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How are you guys feeling about this weather then? Feeling good? Yeah. Oh, it's 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 good Nordic weather. Yes, it is. <laughs> the, the fur helps. Exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm sure I might come visit you guys later if I get a little colder. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's still Dad's chugging still. along. He is not giving up. When I heard I heard him yelling to her and as he was as he was going by me, don't give up, Adeline. <laughs> don't give up. Nice. You've got it. Here we go. Now, I wonder if this is the group, a few years ago, because they've been here for a number of years. Yes. Remember the pirate ship? I wonder if they did the pirate ship, too. I'm wondering. From they a may couple have, of years ago. It may have been. Kind that. of the theming. Yes. You know, you yep. kind of think it with the Vikings. Were they pirates before? I don't know. It's very We're possible. Guessing. Just memories. Yes. And that's the one thing that everybody takes away for the cart for boat regatta is memories, memories of what's been here before and what stuck in their mind from before. And of course, from the Hesselson Sky Cam, you can see uh, Terror of the Sea, Sea Broga, making their way down that long back stretch, if you would, uh, along the rock wall. 
here at Watkins Glen, Seneca Lake. It looks like they are coming into that final turn, headed towards the, the finish line. And as we can see here, the Liquidy Ship is making their way as well to the, uh, the finish line ahead of Sabroga. And they are across. Across the, the line. There we go. And they're jumping off again. We Captain always lose Matt one. Miller into the drink. <laughs> very uh, nice. That there he's coming back Ooh. up. He goes, well, yeah, that was a little He's like, cold. I don't know if that was a good idea. Yeah. Here's my glasses. Hey, give, I can't give, see anything give now. Give me back up here. <laughs> <laughs> Say bro, yeah, making their way to the finish line. They look like they have slowed down a little bit. Yes. Maybe they're getting a little tired. Well, hi there, Matt. Yeah, everybody! Yeah, that's all excited like that. Nice. He likes the fact that he's on camera. We got him on camera. He very, likes that. Very nice. Liquidy ship. Nice finish. Sebroga. Not officially under Not the under checkered the flag line, banner, but, but yes, they did. They may have taken out the checker banner if they had gone actually across. True. If you the head on yep. the front, especially the front head is a little longer, a little higher. And pink flash making their way. Oh, they're both oh, in the drink now. they're rolling again. They rolled again. Yep. But they are at the finish line. And, and here like they that. come. Well, they're both now in the water. They're both going to finish. Yeah, you don't have nice. to be in the boat. I don't I don't think you have to be in nope. the boat. As long as, as your long boat as you crosses the, the line. line. Yes. yes. SS Smokey. SS, I always think of Smokey Bear. Well, Smokey Bear, they were in the, he was in the, the paddock area before the race with them. Our theme is a campsite on the National Forest, like I said. We're just up the hill from here. Um, been open to camping the whole time, so we kind of went for the forest motif, a little campground, some trees. We've got Smokey Bear out here with us today. Awesome. And I Salty Dog. I'm, uh, you're, yeah, Salty Dog. I'm surprised that uh, Smokey the Bear isn't on the Smokey boat, Smokey Bear, to be yeah, it's a little, a little odd. But. Well, here we go. This is going to be our next heat. Again, we got Salty Dog. And uh, SS Smokey, I can't believe we're already up to uh, heat number six. Heat number six, Day's yes. going by quick. Salty Dog was last year's Cardboard Boat Regatta People's Choice winners. We did win the People's Choice Award the last time we did it, before COVID and everything, so. How do you guys feel about like having events like this, especially coming back after COVID? What do you think it means to the community? Great. Oh, it, uh, great oh, deal. Beautiful. It brings everybody together, yep. and we're all just here to have a good time and enjoy the, well, can't good it. weather or bad good, weather. Good weather or bad weather. We're all here, here to support the community. And you yeah. see everybody Sports here, and we're all just here to have a great time and enjoy the community, and yeah. that's why we're here. So I think some As, people don't realize when you're on the ground exactly how long the course actually is. It is. Until your opportunity from above, from the uh, sky cam, can you really tell that's a pretty long distance. It's it's a long course. To, I mean, especially, and of course, you add the wind into it, and it just adds to it. Yeah. It makes it a little bit more difficult. SS Smokey is taking the lead on the inside in the first turn here. Well, Salty Dog has is followed up. They're, they have made their way to the back stretch. Uh, you are the SS Smokey, excuse me, was Matt, Matt's first entry this year. That's his first entry. And it's all uphill from here, he says. So Matt Lark, the captain of the SS Smokey. Looks like a great uh Yeah, it's more boat. of a what I like it's, is I more of a pontoon style. It is a pontoon style. Pontoon, and and pontoon I believe style. it's uh they're they must it's the uh, Finger Lakes National Forest boat. Mm -hmm. And then we've got of course US Salt with the salty dog. Salty dog. And Bruce Dobson, the captain of the salty dog. Supporting they are the community for 129 years. Crossing the finish nice. line here, Radar. Crossing the finish line for the SS Smokey. Smokey. Crossing nice the line. Job. They're High excited. They're around. happy. Yes. Hey, they we made, made it. it. We didn't sink. We didn't fall off. I think they've been water tested, they, like in a pool maybe. You know, it's, it's possible. I know that the uh, it's either the middle school or the high school in Watkins Glen also has, they, they have a... Uh, a cardboard boat race. There's uh, some one of their classes. I can't remember which class it is, but they have this competition at the high school or the or the, uh, the middle the school, school, and they they use the high school pool and they they test out the water. They test out the boats in the water there, and nice. So the the middle school kids get a chance to to try it out as well. More of the 2022 Watkins Glen Cardboard Boat Regatta 
coming up right after this. All right, we're getting set for our next heat already. Bruise Cruise. Captain John Bloom. That's like Bruise Cruise. Not Cruise. Not Blue. Not Blue. But Bruise Cruise. Bruise Cruise. That was hard Cruise. to keep, keep straight. Originally, we were going to go for a beer, like make it look like a beer, but uh, time crunch for time made it so that we just kind of did what we could to make it. Make it floatable. <laughs> yeah. What are you most looking forward to with the regatta? Uh, just all the fun, like all the festivities. I mean, the other boats that are out here look fantastic. So, ideas for next year and just to uh, have a good time. And Wonder Boat with Captain Kaylee. Oh boy, Weirman. I hope I'm saying that last name right. And Bruce Cruz is actually, I believe, uh, from Horsehead's Brewing Company right here on Seneca Lake. Great place if you're looking for some food or a nice oh, beverage. Beverages. Up food. in uh, Seneca Lake, Very nice horse heads brewing. Has a new location up there on Seneca. New location, yes. All right, so here we go. We're already having problems. We're already having problems with Wonder Boat. Wonder Boat is already sinking the back end. Looks like it's a little too heavy on the back end. Whether they get out or not, Bruce crews doing what they can to try to get by them. They're kind of using a little rubbing. Is racing? R I Robin guess. racing? Yeah, Robin is racing. But they're oh. trying. Oh no, yeah, Bruce like Cruise I said, Bruce Cruz is having problems. a little bit. Oh. Wonder Boat. Wonder Boat seems to be. Wonder I don't know, Boat. Are they taking on water? I can't really tell. It's definitely. It's sinking in the back sinking end. Sinking in the back. Heavy on the back end. Yes. It's not nearly as bad as Wonder Boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And the Wonder Boat has gone over. I wonder if that will be the end of Wonder Boat, only because I think they're being full of grown adults. It may be harder for them to reestablish themselves. And here is a, a, a great camera view of splash going replay. under. The splash cam going Thanks under. Elm. Yes. Thanks to Elm Chevy. That's what it's like to roll a boat in the cold Seneca Lake, a yep. cardboard boat a in the cardboard. cold Seneca Lake. Bruce Cruz here in the first turn, Captain John Bloom, they are plugging away, but they do seem to be taking on some water. And I have a feeling this is the end of Wonder Boat. You can still <laughs> yep, see that's, that's... from our Elm Chevrolet splash cam. <laughs> I it's think just... they're calling it a day. And, and, and the Heselson's a sky cam, but the Elm Chevrolet splash cam, you, you could say it's the uh, down under cam. The down under cam. It's the nice. down under cam. Very nice. I think their day Bruce is... Cruise. Oh, look at that. They are completely... They're... They're completely underwater. How but are they still, still going. floating? Well, the back end is still up. The back end was still up, so I think that they're, uh, they're still making their way down the back stretch, trying to get to the, that finish line and the, the, that final turn. Wonder Boat, there they are. They've uh, given up. Yep. Give they are uh, doing the smart thing. They're just going to go ahead and uh, move everything off. The uh, pit crew, if you would, or the pier crew, is uh, helping them. Uh, get their stuff out of the water. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Bruce Cruz. <laughs> They're not giving up. I, that is such a great thing. You know, They're not is, giving up. They're underwater. They, but you know, they're they're. This is their first time. This is John's first time participating, and he had an excellent time making this. This boat took 12 hours to build. And it's very good for them. All right, Tiki Bound. Tiki Bound is going to be the next one. We are already up to uh, heat eight, Tiki Bound. They're going to be a single boat in this heat. Yeah, the uh, their their competitor that was going to be paired with them never did make it to the starting point. Oh, so they're going to go for best time, or what their best time is going to be, and they're Tiki Bound, and the captain is Veda. Hopefully, I'm saying that right again. Veda Wilkins. Veda, maybe Veda. That Veda. Was just like Veda. All right, Tiki Bound. Making their way down that front stretch. Oh, look, we've got uh, Liquidy Ship returning. They want a cameo. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Nice to you. Hi, the nice fans. You. They're just going to do a little pass through. Well, they've already finished, but they finished. some of the boats are so big, you got to take them out a different way. Yeah, we can't get them out this, this at, the, at the end there. Tiki the fact is... that they made it back. Right. And it was, don't, and, do you notice it was much easier? Paddling coming back. Of course, because the they've wind. got the wind at their back. Oh, and here and comes Sabroga. Sabroga. Is, is doing the same. They're yeah. way too big to take out of, of, uh, 
out of the water at the finish line. They're like, Tiki Bound making their... Couldn't be like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tiki Bound making their way into the first turn here, turning onto the back stretch, getting plenty of encouragement from the sidelines and from the, 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 the rock wall. Tiki Bound is continuing as we are already getting ready for our next heat. More coverage from the Cardboard Boat Regatta coming up here on Big Fox. And this will be already heat number nine. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It my is. favorite, my favorite saying. It is. It is what, what it is. is. <laughs> and Shipward. Uh, it's Shipward. Uh, kind of built it for the company we work for. We built fire trucks and everything for everybody. So, I mean, it was something great for them. And they wanted to sponsor us. So, here we are. That's awesome. How are you feeling about this weather? Uh, windy. I really hope the wind dies down. Because right now, it's kind of going to make it hard to get out there. But once we're actually we're out there, I think hopefully the brake wall kind of prevents it. Yeah. How many men are responding to this? I spent about a week and a half actually building it. It's a little bit, little bit of time after work. Ship Ward, WARD, along with, eh, it is what it is. What it is. Ship Ward, off to a great start. Taking the lead over it is what it is. But they're not, they don't, it doesn't matter to them. Captain of Shipward is Josh Farrell, thanks to the Elm Chevy splash cam. We can ride right along with them and not feel the pain of struggling against the wind. Absolutely. It is what it is, taking their time, making their way down the front stretch. We want to say thank you to Suburban Propane. They're a sponsorship here, a silver sponsorship here today for us, as well as Skylar Hospital. And thank you very much to House of Sins again for our Skycam and Corning Building Company as well as another sponsor. You'll get a laugh. I do know that uh, coming up as we look at some of the boats, wait till you see uh, one of the hospital boats. Oh. Of course, you know, uh, Skylar Hospital, part of the Cuyahoga Health System. And uh, what a great, great organization within our communities here with Skylar Hospital, Cuyahoga Medical Center, a uh, great group of people. And... Uh, these guys are just moving it, thanks to our Hesselson's Skycam, and then the point of view from the Elm Splash Chevy Splash Cam. Ship Ward still continuing, and it, it, it is what it is. is. We're in the first turn. We kept it really simple this year, so that's why it's called It Is What It Is. <laughs> we ran out of time, and we started late this year, but we were really excited to be part of this again. And they're just taking their time. <laughs> what it is. Enjoying, the, enjoying the view. And this is uh, Tiki Bound still on the course. This is great. Making it, uh, looks like in their their final turn there. They're zigzagging a little bit. Eh, they're trying to get straight again. It's tough. It's like left and right and right and left. And now as far as the paddles, they steer the ship. And they're doing what they can to kind of keep it moving straight. Tiki oh, Bound Bruce. is in the background. They're still yeah. trying to catch up. Bruce Cruz is still in the water too. <laughs> Oh, that's that's amazing that they. Uh, I guess they've made it. <laughs> they're I, they're just kind of floating there. Yeah, I think maybe they've given up. And of course, Shipward is still chugging along. I like that Shipward continuing. These guys have it straight. Looks like they really used a custom regular rowboat kind of design. They did, and, and that's what it looks like, and Captain Josh wants to win the fastest boat, so we will have to see on that. In the meantime, Tiki Boat is crossing Tiki the bound. finish line. Oh, that's right, cross, Tiki Bound. Cross the line. Crossing line, there's Captain Josh and Shipward making their way towards the finish line. I think they were ha they'd have a, they'll have a pretty good uh, chance at making fastest boat. See, that's what thing when you come to the Cardboard Boat Regatta, there's all the fun, but yes, there's a bunch of awards and recognitions that they do once they compile everything. There is a winner of different categories. There is, and, and they get a little a little prize, so to speak, to, yeah. to, Proudly to show take their a support. little trophy-ish. Yes. And, so well, it is what it is. You know, Maria and Samantha, it's been 12 years since their last entry. 
other than energy, yeah. it doesn't look like it's been 12 years. They no. got their stuff together. Bruise Cruise. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're floating across the... Uh, they kind of divided up a little bit. Oh. Hey, he says, I'm He's done. Like, I'm done. I'm throwing the oar. I'm done. They're riding to the end. It is, it is what it is, crossing the finish line. Very nice. Very nice. They made it. They made it. They made it. Congratulations. Yeah. 12 years. Yeah, it is what it is. More of the 2022 Watkins Glen Cardboard Boat Regatta coming up right after this. Getting ready now. I like this fire truck. That looks like a good solid construction. Yes, yes. Well, we're representing the Monterey Volunteer Fire Department. My son and I are gonna be in the boat. Um, so this is our first year, so we really didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, we've, our theme is obviously a fire truck. So. How long did it take for you to build this? Um, we probably have, oh, probably 18 hours in it. Yeah. That's yep. awesome. Uh, how many rolls of duct tape do you think? Um, I think we used eight. Eight, all right. And then right. a lot of um, hot glue. And Otters Express is the other boat in this race. And it's the SS to tanker. Oh, and no. there it goes. Oh, no. SS to tanker. But it rolled right back. Great response. Rolls over, bounced right back up. That was nice. This is buoyant. The Otters yes. Express taking off uh, down the front stretch. All right, well, he's gonna get on to tan take tanker. Yeah, to tanker. To he tanker. was gonna try to do the uh, Olympic bobsled thing. You know, he got it going. He jumped in the back <laughs> and cycled. Start. That didn't work. So what are we gonna do now, guys? Well, maybe. Otters Express is oh, rolling. Okay, wait. Apart. We're gonna try again. Get, get some stuff here. Then uh, he's looks gonna like... learning a lesson oh, from yep. Pink Flash. Pink Flash gave, started the trend. Gonna, the SS to Tinker is like, you know what? We're going to finish too. I can swim it. It's not that far. Well, <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> it is. You, you don't realize how far it is until you are actually out on the course. And we've got Otters Express in the first turn making their way to the back stretch. And the SS to, to, tanker, to, to tanker. To Tanker. Okay, to Tanker. Uh, another father son duo on the SS to Tanker. All right, I want to thank again Hesselson for these great sky view cams. You can see all the people lining up on the uh, break wall, very but nice. look how rough the water is on the lakeside yes, of very. that rock wall. Thank, thank goodness that that rock wall is there. Otherwise, this marina would be just as choppy and uh, uh, even harder to make our way around the course. The tanker is still chugging along with leg power, taking a lesson from the... Uh, Pink Flash team that also rolled early, and yeah. Dad was I, I can kick it. I can kick it. I can it. do this. I can do it. And this time it's that rolls are reversed. Sun is in the water, and Dad is is paddling away and steering the boat down the back stretch now. Otters Express is making their way to the final turn. They're going to give themselves a little push there so that they don't run into the post. Captain Connor at the helm there. Of Otters Express. And Captain Callie. Callie Horton. Haley? Callie? I'm not sure what it is. All right. Cross the finish Express. line. There they go, celebrating like that. Oars up in the air in celebration as they were uh, getting to the line. Very nice for the Otters Express. Nice job. Soon to be on to our next heat. We are screaming through these. Folks, if you want to plan to be at the 2023 Watkins Glen Water Festival and Cardboard Boat Regatta, I can tell you it is again going to be on Father's Day weekend. Yes. That Saturday. Saturday. And it's not too early to start planning your boat. Absolutely not. No, some of these, some of these uh, captains have their boat planned out well, well in advance. I mean, others take two to three weeks. Others take two to three days so i mean it's you can you can take as much time but yeah i mean it's a good time to start thinking about your your plan for next year and you know start collecting the cardboard as as you 
as, as you can. Hazlitt's Big Splash. Hazlitt's Big Splash. This is gonna be a fun, and a Radiant Raft. Radiant Raft, it looks more like a, like a canoe, more than a raft. But right there in front, there they go. You gotta love the power of the Red Cat with Hazlitt's Big Splash. By the way, Red Cat and I, friends. Good friends. I'm just putting it out just there. Good oh, friends. Yeah, we're good friends. You know, uh, Red Cat used to actually come to the event and oh, ride in the boat. But, you know, he's got to be getting up there in age. I mean, this is the 27th running, and he's been... Uh, Red Cat's got Red nine Cat's, lives. How many did he think? <laughs> I know, How but has been roll? in this oh, since the beginning, you know? We love Captain our friends Carter. over at Hazlitt's and the Big Splash. Look at these guys work. Now, that's, that's teamwork. So yeah, changing sides to make a turn. As far as their rafting uh, skills are concerned with the oars, it's always a couple left, a couple on the right, and they yep, change every straight. once in a while to keep it straight. Keep it true, true. I think it's true, is that true? Sure, straight? sounds I, good to me. I'm making up. All right, so there you go, Hazlitt's Big Splash. They are working at it, and they're smiling. That's the thing, too. They're, they're all having fun. That's the whole idea again, having fun. And that's just it. Hazlitt's has always been, you know, a fun boat. They always have so much fun creating their boat, and they, they it didn't, nothing changed this year. They are creating, the, they created this boat and had such a good time uh, creating the boat and then pr promoting their new product, which is Hazlitt Splash. It's like a seltzer, mm -hmm. I guess, something like that. I wonder okay. how many bottles of Red Cat Pink cat, white cat. I wonder how many bottles they went through. The, you know, oh, I mean, you got to know there had to be some liquid uh, encouragement, encouragement as yes. they were building. Oh, I'm sure that there was. <laughs> Hazlitt's I mean, Hazlitt. big splash and again from the Elm Chevy splash cam right out in front. What a great view of that. Oh, have we lost our kicker? Yeah, the kicker of the uh, the SS Titanic. Titanic. Or, yeah. No, it's a tanker. The tanker, yes, not the Titanic. I know. I well, I almost said that too. Uh, it's uh, it's so hard because that's what it looks like. But they're cruising along. And Radiant Raft, Captain Ryan Yaw, doing a great job. Trying, they're actually making their way. They're going to catch up with Hazlitt's. This could be a pretty good race down the, uh, the the final stretch to the finish line. And we are in that final stretch uh, right now as they're going to be paralleling the main pier, the fishing pier, here at uh, Watkins Glen. Hazlitt's big splash. But look at here they come. They're, gonna, they're right back there. Radiant they, Raft is right behind them. They're about they're making it a race. Three boat boat lengths behind them. Yeah, I like it. Captain keeps looking back. Like how close are they? He knows they're in a race. As the sun the starts to try to peep out. Boy, a that bit. sun feels good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, he's giving up. He, what's he gonna do? What's he doing? Captain's like celebrating. You're not across oh the my finish gosh. line yet. Don't stand up yet, man. <laughs> Let's cross the line. Care. Finish the line. Finish there. You then go. you can celebrate. There, there you go. go. Same thing with the guy in the back. You know, he's raised it's that nice or All right. Hazlitt's big splash has finished the race. Here Radiant. comes Radiant Raft there, yep. Radar. Radiant Raft is making their way there. They are actually doing pretty well. They're keeping a, a close eye on on uh, Hazlitt and they're making their way across the finish line now. Nice job, Radiant Raft and Captain Ryan Yaw. Gonna be getting our next heat underway shortly as again, these guys have now completed their journey. Wonder if any of these guys do. I was going to say, I wonder if any of these guys are going to jump overboard as well just to celebrate. But it looks like their goal is just to climb out. Once again, again, oh, sorry about that, Bacon. I was going to say, I was going to say thanks again to our uh, peer workers, our peer crew, you know, instead of a pit crew, to help them yes. get out of safety out of the boat. SS Tanker <laughs> is now crossing the line, and, and the sun is still in the water, kind of pushing Dad along. Again, they nice deserve. cooperation. I hope... The son bought dad a nice Father's Day steak, or grilled dad yes. a nice Father's Day steak as this was over Father's Day weekend Very here. Nice. And More coverage from the Cardboard Boat Regana coming up here on Big Fox. Now this one, Raider, uh, this is a Raider Nation. Now, they were supposed to go against yeah, another, another boat, 
which did not show. So these guys, Raider Nation, I thought we were in Bill's country. We are in but Bill's country. But Raider Nation is going to journey on their own. Boy, and that wind seems to be picking up a little bit and just really struggling along that, that front stretch. But he's plugging away. He's not giving up. That's good. I've had it laying around for a couple of years, so finally put it together. Yeah. Are you excited to be back after COVID? Oh, yeah. It's going to be definitely a challenge today. Ooh, yeah. What do you most look forward to with the cardboard boat regatta? Oh, just a different boat. <laughs> yeah. Seeing yep. all of them. Seeing all of them. And uh, how many man hours did it take for you to put this in? Oh, man hours? Uh, at least probably a month overall. Really? You know? Trying to keep that boat straight. See that? Paddle right, paddle right. Paddle right, paddle Very left. Nice. Paddle Good right, job. paddle left. And that's here a couple of times more again on the right. He, he knows. He's trying to stay away from the boats that are docked there on his right by working both sides. And of course, you get that body motion going, you know what can happen. What? You get that body motion going, you don't want to take on water. You no, don't want you to don't. roll it. No. Absolutely not. They've made it way to their to the first turn here and on to the back stretch. Let's take a, take a moment to thank some of our sponsors, Suburban Propane, Skylar Hospital, Corning Building Company, and of course, Elm Chevy for our splash cam, and Hesselson's for the drone coverage. And there's Hesselson's Sky Cam with uh, Raider Nation. Is it Raider Nation? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Raider, Raider, Raider Nation. Nation making his way down the back stretch. And Eric Hughes, Captain Eric Hughes, 15 rolls of duct tape to build this boat and represent his favorite team, the Raiders. Nice job there. As he makes his way around the final turn towards the finish line. And there it is, right in front of him. Right there up in the upper left. He's nice shot flying. with the Elm Chevy splash cam there. But look how much he's water taking he has on water, taken yeah. in. Yeah. But he's still afloat. Yep. See as the nose dips. Yep. He's collecting a little more water, a little more water, but he's he going to make a celebration. It. He he's made it. He's happy. Woo! He's exhausted. Look at that. He's like, gosh, I'm glad that's done. Yeah. All right, off to our next team. And I like the design of this, this uh, Rapunzel. Yes. Okay. It's Cabins to Castle real estate. If you look here, you got the castle, right? Yep. You got the castle. You can't miss that turret. Great castle. But look at the back end. If we get a good shot of uh, Cabin's Castle Real Estate, look at the very back boat of the boat. They are towing, towing the cabin. cabin. I like it. I have nice. sold. Nice. How many man hours did you put into this? Oh, got to be 60 or 80 hours. Wow. How many rolls of duct tape do you think? Uh, the duct tape was probably about 25 one. rolls, but we did a lot of cardboard layers and a lot of glue, so we went glue. there with a different strategy. Five gallons, Five gallons of glue. Yeah. Oh, all right, so a lot of money spent on glue then. A lot of money on glue, a lot of money on duct tape, Love but that. it's worth it. It's a good turnout, so. How many, yeah. how many years have you guys been doing the regatta? This is our first year actually doing it as an office, so, so cool. we've always been visiting and figure this year we'll join in on the fun. They don't seem to be having too much difficulty uh, at this point, but they do have quite a few people aboard that boat. Yes. Rapunzel waving to the crowd, her fans. And this, this team, of course, Cabins to Castles is a real estate company and, and they all work together, which is, which is a nice team effort. Teamwork, co-opetition. Co-opetition, yes. And they used five gallons of glue as well. There was another boat that used five glue, five gallons of glue. That's that's a heck of a lot of glue. But you know what? It's a float. That's right. I got to give a shout out to NASCAR and Fox. Because, you know, big Fox. NASCAR, Daryl Waltrip always started using that term co-opetition. Co-opetition. So this is like calling a race. So it's his fault that you're using exactly, that. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. This Thank is the you. love. Thank you, Daryl Waltrip. NASCAR and Fox that I have. So, nice. So I got to go with the co-opetition. Nice. I pay attention. Oh, here's this boat that you were talking about yes. earlier. Wait till you see the front of this boat from bottoms up. Think about that for a minute. Bottoms up. Look at all Skylar the, Hospital. Look at all the bedpans in the front. 
See, that's your bottoms. That's your bottoms up. Ah, ah, bottoms up. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. They didn't have, they don't have the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the excuse poop, me, poop emoji. emoji. Yeah, the poop emoji. It was with there. Them. It was there in the paddock. Now, I didn't see Smokey Bear earlier, but I saw the poop emoji. Yeah. You got your picture with the poop emoji, I believe. And they should have, heck, other than the suit, you probably don't want to get it wet. But uh, bottoms up. The second boat here is the cheese boat. With, All I can uh, think Captain of the cheese boat, Silas Farrell, is uh, the cheese boat goes takes me back to SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> oh, jeez! So the cheese boat is uh, is related to Silas owns the cheese bus, who is a vendor here at the cardboard boat regatta. Yes, very visible. Good crowd around them throughout the day. Bottoms up, Captain Tracy Gates making their way through the first turn. So I'm here with Cuga Health System. We're responsible for um, the Cuga Medical Center and Schuyler Hospital. And so our workforce got together and wanted to put a boat into the regatta. And so they voted on the theme. And the theme is bedpan. Um, the name of the boat is Bottoms Up. And the, um, the, the logo, the slogan is We've Got Your Back. So this is really us saying as a health system that we've got the community's back and we're here to support them at this event. That's so, awesome. Happy to be here. Have you yourself done the regatta in years before? I have never been in a boat before. I've been to the regatta a whole bunch of times. I'm trying feeling? I'm trying to bribe people to get in the boat for me. I have a little cash in my back pocket, so we're going to see how that goes. They're they're making some good time heading down this back stretch and the cheese boat still in the front stretch struggling. making their way struggling. I think they're they might be taking on a little bit of water doing what they can, but I tell you, the bed pans are helping bottoms up. Stay Keep afloat. everything afloat. <laughs> Rapunzel's still making their way down the back stretch. They're angling to make that to last that turn, turn before yep. the start or uh, before the finish line. And the cheese boat in the in the first turn here and making its way down the back stretch. Oh, we're. I can't are believe we, that. We, those cabin, the cabin in the back end is starting to take a little water. Yep. It's starting to list. Rapunzel, by the way. She's holding that line, like with her long hair. She's holding the line all the way back to the uh, cabin, which has been sold. Oh, bottoms up in this final turn, making great time down that back stretch. Captain Tracy Gates and the Skylar Hospital crew, we've got your back. And the cheese boat, struggling. Mm-hmm. Uh, not really sure what's going on there. I wonder Looks if like they're, they're taking on some water. You know why they could be taking on water? Maybe it's Swiss cheese. Oh, with, with all the, the holes. holes. Oh, no, and they're in the water. They have flipped and turned into... Looks like they're going to just oh, the give up. Yeah. They're going to give up the ship yeah. right there. Nice. With uh, the cheese they're boat, like, they're yeah, like, we're done. we're done. We're just going to watch the rest of it. Well, maybe, not. yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe he was going to try. He's still figuring out what so to do. So a little, a little history or a little information on this boat, too. Maybe the guys in the boat should have done the building instead of letting <laughs> Kale Sutterby sit back in the cheese bus. And, and uh, just relax. And it's, just relax. Yeah. Kale built the boat. And the other guys decided that they were gonna race the boat. Rapunzel making their way technically across the finish line. It probably goes from one end of the lake all the way to the other, just because you don't go underneath the banners. Doesn't mean you're not crossing the finish line. And followed very close by, closely by uh, Bottoms Up. I think the they got a couple line. of full bed pans. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Rapunzel, there you go, great. Captain Dale Stevens, nice job there. Great effort, guys. That Very was nice. actually awesome. Rapunzel looks a little bored, like. She's like, okay, I'm done with this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More of the 2022 Watkins Glen Cardboard Boat Regatta coming up right after this. All right, quest for fun. That is should be the mission of everybody when they come to the cardboard boat regatta just quest for fun well absolutely this is our final heat can you believe it are you feeling a little deterred by the weather at all oh yeah i woke up this morning and i thought it was gonna i was like i quit i'm not going out on the lake no more but, but you're here i bought this wetsuit specifically for this lake so so you bought the wetsuit this morning then no no i bought the wetsuit months ago because i want to go out on the lake but the water's always cold 
Yeah. What are you most looking forward to about the regatta? <sighs> Getting out of the water. The surprise. surprise! Surprise! Captain Steve Bellows. You can't see the motor, but there's actually a motor. There, they did. In Quest for Fun, there's a motor. If you lift the hood, they actually have a painted look like photo yep. of an actual it Jeep was, motor. It was very, very creative. Quest for Fun, very, very cool design. There's a little bump and, bump and run there on the, on, the finish, on the start line. They said they thought it was going to be a sunny day, so they put window tinting yeah. on the windshield. Yeah, we and, were hoping for sun. Uh, yeah. It came out for it's, a brief moment or two. We saw yes. that earlier. Yep. Is this your first year doing the regatta? Uh, no. How we, many years? Uh, we did it like four or five years ago, something like that. How many hours, man hours, did you put into making this? <laughs> Uh, it's 25 or 30. 25 or 30. How do you feel about your like sink to float ratio? I think we'll float. You think we'll float? Yeah. Awesome. You think you'll make it to the end? Yeah, I do actually. Awesome. So. All right. Anything you want our viewers to know about the cardboard boat regatta? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a prize. Still There's hanging prize. in there. Quest for fun. Captain Nate Brown, nice job. On your, on your entry there. So they there. can't go um, four wheeling. Are they four oaring? Four oaring. Four oaring. Because you can't four wheel it in the water. No. They're four oaring. They're about a boat and a half length behind, but they are catching, as you say. They're closing in. They're closing in, as Definitely. we can see from the Hesselson sky cam. It's always fun to the folk in the corners at Hesselson's, no matter what season. It is. You're always going to find something cool. And thanks again to Elm Chevy. I have been enjoying these splash cams. And actually, that one that rolled earlier that we had the great view of the camera. The underwater view. Went underwater with the boat and showed you what actually, you know, the whole action. And the lakes actually looked pretty clean. It did. It, it looked did. pretty clean when they went under. We've got great a great crowd here all along the marina, both in boats and on the rock wall and, and along the, the final pier. For the pier, which is the final turn, and um, it's just a really good crowd. It was great. It's great to see that that we got the crowd that returned to us after our two-year hiatus. Quest for fun and the surprise, both in the first turn here. On Quest for fun stretch, has lead it. That back stretch, as you would. They're on that back stretch. Oh, they're on the back stretch. Okay. Now, I remind everybody again. 2023, yes. Father's Day weekend. Father's Day weekend. That That's Saturday right. of the Father's Day weekend. It's always. It's traditional. 27 times we've yes. been up here on Father's Day weekend. Now, I've been to probably, I want to say a good 20 of these. Yeah. I think you and I have I think, appeared uh, at many of them. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Some it's on, always a good time. Some on days where you want to jump in the lake. Yes, where it's 90 plus. Some on days where you just use the lake to chill your beverage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I, I dressed extra warm today, and I'm glad that I did. Quest for fun and the surprise. Still making their way again. They're making that final left hand turn to get down to the start finish line. And again, this actually is going to be our last heat that we're going through now. Yep. And there they are, Quest for Fun. Maybe some more yeah. hot time yeah. after this. Yeah. Oh my god, I want out of this boat. And there they are, Quest for Fun. Oh, I've got some winners already that I can uh, that, that I can let you know about. Yes, because so the surprise is right behind them. So how did our competition work out? So, Quest for Fun. Right? Yes. They received the fastest elapsed time wow. of a multi-haul boat. So that's two or more, more haul. Okay. It's, it looks like, they're, looks like they're having difficulty. Somebody call a towing company. Yep. But they, they you know, fastest elapsed time. That's great. Yes. Very good. Fastest elapsed single haul was number the number nine Raider Nation. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Uh, fastest time, elapsed time overall for the adult class, Liquidy Ship. Nice. Fastest kids boat, 12 and under. SS Meat. Meat. <laughs> Don Brubaker, best construction, Saya Broga. Terror, Terror of the, of the sea. sea. Best sinking. Best sinking. Bruce Cruz. Yes. Definitely. Best boat name, number 16. It is what it is. It is what it is. I agree with that. 
Best theme, bottoms up, our favorite boat. Very nice. William Croft, most patriotic award. SS Meep. SS Meep. Very nice. nice job. People's Choice, Salty Dog. Very cool. And most original boat, Quest for Fun. All right, that's going to wrap up the 2022 broadcast of the Watkins Glen Waterfront Festival and Cardboard Boat Regatta. So happy to be with you, Crispy Bacon here, my buddy Radar. And thank you very much. And we'd like to thank our sponsors as well. Elm Chevy for our splash cams. Health Sins for the drone coverage. Suburban Propane, Skylar Hospital, and Corning Building Company. Thank you so much for being sponsors of this year's 27th running of the Cardboard Boat Regatta. And last but not least, all the coverage brought to you by Big Fox, WYDC-TV, out of Corning. So thank you, Big Fox. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next year. Yes.